Hello, thanks for joining me today. Una from Oz here. I've been making a few folios. I haven't done a lot of folios before and um, I've come to realise that they are really little handy pieces of kit because you can use them to put in your junk journals or you can actually use them as a journal itself, a mini journal. You can uh, pump them up and make them uh, quite full and add pages to them. So this was the very first one I made. I tried to keep them really simple and they're um, made from uh, 12 by 12 paper which has been cut in half so most of them are six inches tall and um, I just scored them so this one is obviously three by three by three and I've put a little uh, flip in here a little tag and a little notebook of course you can uh, add them uh, add things as you want and then I made a little, um, same, same, but different, a little one with a Stamperia paper, um, lovely and bright, added a bit more stamping. Again, I did a flip, a tag, and a little notebook. This one's sort of sewing themed. I did a little bit of stamping on this as well. I thought they turned out really nice. I thought I'd try something a little different, so I made some um, trifold ones, a little bit little bit uh, different so this has got a tag this has got a double flip with a pocket and again a little notebook I made I find scrapbooking papers are really handy for these because um, you don't need to do a huge amount of decoration unless you want to of course so another trifold this one's got a pocket for some writing paper you could also actually pop a, a notepad in there I've made a little um, a little notebook itself with a um, little paper pad with some avocado dyed paper. I've got a little tag in there. So um, that's really handy. And I made a bee themed one. This one I made more of a gate fold. So there's uh, four pockets. So I've got a pocket here with a notebook. Got a pocket here with note paper. I've got a pocket here with a tag. And I've got another pocket available here to put something in as well. So that one is a gatefold. And this morning I was thinking about um, how we can turn these into to journals, of course. So I made this one. It's sort of a trifold, but not quite, quite. And I actually put a gusset in it. So you can actually put a lot more in it. So the idea of this is you can put a... This is, hasn't got any ephemera in it. But you could put a notebook in here and um this is my ruler so you can put uh, a notebook in here or paper uh, you can put a tag in here and there's another pocket here as well i also did some uh, sewing around the edge this has got those really beautiful graphic 45 papers i did some sewing detail around the edge and you could actually put your flower or um put some pages in here i find if you have this kind of a um a gusset or a spine it's very easy to punch a hole and put an eyelet either end put in an elastic strap and there you could actually put a whole notebook in whether it's handmade or pre-bought whatever so you and there's quite enough room there to make it um quite thick so they work quite well so now that i've made all these little um folios some of them i'll put in journals some i'll give as gifts I'll take you through how I made one like this with very uh, basic paper. I used a, um, a scrapbooking quality paper in a smooth ivory for the base. It's a little firmer than your average. I think it's more, more um, 200 DSM or 220, a little firmer, but um, I found it to, be, to work really, really well for this style of journal I want. So bear, stick with me and um, I'll show you how, to, how I make um, a little folio.